Hey guys, today I have a pretty special video for you. Now, a lot of people think they have no chance of pushing high into the leaderboards if they aren't completely maxed, and that is just not true. And this player today is proof of that. Seasick Shrimp is number 3 in the entire world with over 10,000 trophies, and if we go take a look at his hero levels, we will see that his Battlecopter is level 17 and that his Battle Machine is level 30, which is very uncommon to see, especially in the top 10 of the world. Last season, he finished number 20, and he's not just abusing all these defense bugs, He's just really really good at attacking and I'm gonna show you a few examples of that He's into his first attack and he is up against a pretty new popular base And he's gonna be starting with his battle machine now uh, You'll see that he has baby dragon selected But he's still gonna use the battle machine and that is because his battlecopter is only level 17 And he's not gonna be able to get the same value out of the battlecopter that he would out of the battle machine This is an example of how he's able to be so high up in the leaderboards without a max battlecopter Because he's able to find a lot of value with the battle machine so he's going to let this battle machine walk around the base and you'll see there's a lava launcher exposed all the way on the outside. So what he's going to be able to do is have his battle machine walk towards it and take it out. Now this is important because if you'll look you'll see he has two cannon carts selected and he, these cannon carts are going to get a lot of value. So now with their biggest worry gone he's going to be able to send them both in at once. The battle machine's tanking for this archer tower and look what else can hit them. In this area, there is no defense that can outrange them. They're all on the other side of the base. So he's going to be able to put them into the mortar mode and just let them get a lot of value. Now they can reach the roaster, the mega tesla, and the air expo. And considering he has baby dragon selected, that's just going to re leave one, two, and three defenses that can still hit air. So we're going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Watch this cannon cart work all the way throughout the base. There goes the roaster. And now he's going to target onto the expo. And now, he's, once he gets it taken out, he's going to send in all his baby dragons. And here they come. So here comes the first one on the clock tower. He has another one on the gold storage. And now he's going to send one on the laboratory. Out, out of range of the air bombs. And currently, you know, he's taken out nearly every single big air defense before even placing down his baby dragons. So this is going to be a really, really easy first stage. I mean, he still has all these baby dragons moving around the base. He's going to use the ability on this one. It just kind of cleared out a bit. And with that said, he has three baby dragons still alive on the second stage. So he has three baby dragons, two cannon carts. He lost one troop in this entire stage, along with the battle machine. And let's go see how he takes down this next stage with the level 17 battlecopter. First, he starts two cannon carts all the way down to the bottom. And they're going to be able to get in range of this cannon and then into the range of this cannon and both the air defenses. Now he's starting his battlecopter all the way in the corner. There's a Tesla just sitting there upgrading, so that's going to be pretty easy for him to take it out. And you'll notice he's putting it onto this elixir storage. And what this is going to do is it's going to let the battlecopter fully regenerate his ability before he starts getting hit by any defenses. You'll see he's barely on the edge of this air defense, so he's going to get to the full ability. And with such a low battlecopter, that's going to take a lot more damage than usual. This is a very, very important tactic to make sure he's not just dying without getting any value. So he's already taken out one of the air defenses. Now he's going to go and send in the uh, cannon carts for the next one. He's going to go after the builder hole first, unfortunately. But what he's going to be able to do is, ooh, find a Tesla. But luckily he's going to disable one of the mortar modes and take it out really quickly. And he should probably, what he's definitely going to do is send in a baby dragon look. Look how much base is left and look how much time is left in the replay. 12 seconds. So, I hope you're ready because we're going to see this base get taken down in 12 seconds. Here it goes. All these baby dragons surrounding the entire base. has three undeployed, two undeployed. And he has two that he's just going to leave undeployed with two cannon carts still working. Five baby dragons, two cannon carts, and the battle copter is still alive. An absolutely insane attack by him. We're into his next replay now and he's up against Gaming Guys HD and he's not just a one trick pony with these baby dragons because you'll see he's also good with P.E.K.K.A.s. So let's go see how he takes down this base. Alright he's going in with the battle machine onto the corner on the clock tower letting it charge up his ability. He's bringing in two bombers instead of just one and I guess he's not going to be needing a cannon cart anywhere on this stage so it makes sense why he's doing that. And let's go see how much value he's going to get out of these P.E.K.K.A.s and this giant. Now this giant will be able to tank I think the Mega Tesla, the double cannon and these Archer Towers, a lava launcher. Barely out of range of the double cannon unfortunately and now he's starting in all three of the P.E.K.K.A.s. And look what the bombers did. They opened up both compartments and they're going to continue moving forward into the base, opening up more compartments as they go. The giant took out the entire crusher and he still has a little bit of health left. He's tanking for the Mega Tesla. He uses the ability on it to make sure it goes down before it damages any of his P.E.K.K.A.s. And here come the bombers coming in complete clutch. 
opening up this whole compartment and look at the battle machine, taking out the crusher, and the last bomber opens up the rest of the compartments, and he is easily, easily walking through the space with still two P.E.K.K.A. abilities, two P.E.K.K.A.s, the battle machine, and two bombers. So the only troop he lost in this entire raid was just the giant, and this is an absolutely crushed first stage, and now we're going to go on to the second stage. Let's see how he takes this one out. I mean, with so much value done on the first stage, it's almost a given he's going to absolutely destroy the second stage, but still, let's see how he does it. He's sending in the battle machine from the corner yet again, and he's probably going to be sending in the bombers. Oh, this is an interesting uh, approach. So with his battle machine, he's letting it be tanked by the giant. Unfortunately, the giant walks away, but he has all his P.E.K.K.A.s going in now. And look how he spreads them apart to make sure they're going to go into two separate compartments. These two are going to focus on these buildings. These are going to focus on these buildings. And then they should go separate ways unless these guard post units do some work. So his battle machine already got his ability. Unfortunately, the guard post units did make them all go the same direction, but one P.E.K.K.A. ability kills most everything. Going to use another for these Zappies, and maybe even another? Does he? No. He still has two bombers working around the base, and <laughs> look, almost every single wall is taken down here. He has two P.E.K.K.A.s working, two bombers, and the giant, and this is an absolutely crushed second stage. He can use the ability whenever he wants. He chooses to now. With two bombers, a P.E.K.K.A. and a giant still alive, this is going to be absolutely crushed. Another really good attack. And he took down every single wall. <laughs> These two bombers did so much work. This is not just a 6 star, this is an A plus 6 star with no walls left, nothing left standing. Really good attack. He is up against Hyde, the number 2 player in the world at the time of recording this. And he's going against a really, really popular base in the meta right now, built by Mako himself. And he's going to be taking all baby dragons against it. This is a really interesting approach for this base. It is kind of anti-air. You'll see there's one, two, three, and four big air defenses. And they're not super close together, so it's kind of hard to get the value you really need. But he's taking in the battle machine. That's really interesting. He's taking in the battle machine. What does he think he can get with this? Uh, I'm assuming he's going to go for this expo. That would be kind of good value. And you gotta remember, he only has a level 17 battle copter, so he can't really do a whole lot with it. And that is why he's typically taking in his battle machine in all his first stages, because it's gonna be able to get more value than the level 17 battle copter would. If he had it maxed, I'm sure he wouldn't do this, but this is a really interesting and unique approach by him, showing how he copes with having lower leveled uh, heroes. So he's going to let this go in, and it's going to go exactly to the expo. It should be able to take it out. I don't know if the ability is barely too low for it. Let's go see. Starts with one baby dragon by the lab. That's going to take out the expo, and now he has all the baby dragons circling the base. And as I mentioned in my, la in my last video with Tony, you put all your baby dragons down almost at once. That way, all of them are sharing the damage among themselves, rather than just one of them taking all the damage. And this is going to work out so well for him. I mean, look at this. He has one, two, three, four, five dragons still alive. He's going to take out those air bombs before they do any damage. And guys, this is an absolutely crushed first stage. Still has an undeployed dragon. He'll probably put it down now. Yep, there it goes. So he only lost one troop this entire raid. He is set up so well for stage two, and let's go see how he takes it out. Look at this, seven dragons for stage two. He's gonna start his battle copter over here. The reason he starts it onto this uh, storage is that way the battle copter will actually charge up to its full ability before it takes any damage from these air defenses. And that is a really, really smart move just to ensure that you're getting the maximum amount of value out of it. If you were to start it instead, just like right over here, it's going to die before it even gets anything for you, so making sure it's getting its maximum ability before it takes any damage is really, really important. Now, he's going to have seven baby dragons for this stage of the base, so I mean, it's incredibly unlikely that he doesn't six star, but let's just go see how he takes it out. He has three baby dragon abilities, and then four just regular baby dragons. It is absolutely insane when you're getting overkill with baby dragons. Baby dragons, typically you win with maybe one or two of them alive. He's out here with seven of them still rolling around the base. So what does he do here? He's going to be in the range of the air defenses here soon. There he is. And look how much damage that battle copter takes. But it's alright. He has the baby dragons coming in to support it. They can use their ability and pretty much take out everything attacking him. Here's the first baby dragon uses its ability. There goes one of the air defenses. Here comes the second one. Going to take out the next air defense. And now he doesn't even need any more baby dragons on the base. But he's still going to use them. Just because, why not? He has one, two, three baby dragons still alive, and two undeployed. 
but an absolutely insane first stage attack and he is truly one of the best baby dragon attackers here even with the level 17 battlecopter. We're into his next replay here and he is up against Gaming Guys HD. Now Gaming Guys HD is one of the best players in the world, he's been to multiple tournaments and he's going to go ahead and just take the ground approach to this base. Now Gaming Guys HD has modified this base to make it a little bit more difficult against ground actually because that is what it was most weak to. This Mega Tesla over here, uh, if you sent two hog gliders into it you could easily take it out. So Gaming Guys would put a Tesla over here and air bombs over there so it's a pretty difficult approach for ground now actually but he's going straight into it and he's going to be going to get this double cannon. And that's a pretty good read there, but it might be trapped. Does he get hit? No, he does not. He is doing pretty well. Going to get that clock tower down by activating the mortar onto it. And now all he has to do is, once this compartment is down, is probably send one giant into this roaster. And if it got to the air defenses, then it would tank both double cannons, the Mega Tesla and the giant cannon. So that could be huge value. So let's see where he decides to go with it from here. Unfortunately, the cannon card is uh, targeting the builder hall before the double cannon, which is going to kind of hurt him a bit, but but he's just going to keep going with his battle copter. It looks like going for the mega tesla. So it's just a really slow build up here to the very beginning. You want to make sure all the things you need are down, and now he's going straight into it. He's going to send his giant in. It gets hit by a spring trap, and it doesn't tank for the battle copter like he wanted it to, but it's still all right. He's tanking both the double cannons with this giant, and now he's going to send in another P.E.K.K.A. This uh, Mega Tesla is all but taken care of by the Battlecopter, and now they're going to take care of this Expo, make sure they get it down pretty quick. And you're seeing, with this Battlecopter being level 17, it is making it a lot more difficult for him to actually get some work done with it. But he just is so good with these strategies, it doesn't even matter, and he's going to just walk through the space. He's going to use his first ability onto the Archer Tower, and the next one onto the Crusher, and he still has two P.E.K.K.A.s, a Bomber, and a Cannon Cart moving around this base. That, that Battlecopter gets down the Crusher in the nick of time, and now he just has a Tesla to worry about. This is all but Crush. We're going to go just speed it up a bit and go to the second stage. We're into the next stage now, and with a ground army, this isn't exactly the best base to go against. He has the Crusher over here, one, two, three cannons protected by this mortar, so it's going to be a little bit of a difficult approach here. And so let's go see what he's going to do against it. Now if I were him, I would be going straight for this crusher with the ground attack. You can barely outrange it with the cannon cart. Unfortunately, the majority of the time there are Teslas around this area, which makes it a pretty risky approach to try and go after, but it is the best approach you can do. So let's go see where he decides to go. He switched to a giant, now he has two cannon carts, and how is he going to approach this base? Puts both cannon carts all the way at the bottom. That's exactly where I said you should really put it. And now they're going to be able to reach that crusher. And what that does, putting two cannon carts there, means that if there is a Tesla, he should be able to take it down before it actually takes out his carts. And at the worst, it'll only take out one of his carts. So he's going to go to the elixir storage. And is he starting anything yet? No, he's going to go to the elixir storage with the cannons. He wants to get down that crusher because once the crusher is down, his peckers are going to have no issue whatsoever walking through the rest of the space. So he's going to move them up a little bit, and there's the Tesla. He finds the Tesla. He's going to be able to use both the cannon carts on it. I Hopefully, it might be able to get it down in time. Come on, the last hit. Barely not in time, but it's all right. He's going to be able to get that crusher now, and he is free to start his second stage of the attack. So he only has two peckers, a giant, and the battle machine left, but... With what's on the base, that's not the big a deal. He's starting his battle machine all the way in the top corner now. And he's just going to probably break into this compartment. He just needs to open up this compartment. That way everything's open and he's set. Here comes the bomber getting a really, really good value there. Opening up the majority of everything. That last cannon compartment isn't opened up yet, but the cannon cart can actually take it out on its own. Now he's going for the archer tower. He's not putting it too far into the range of the archer tower. Just in case there's any traps or push traps that would kill it. And look, a Tesla pops up over here, so he's kind of lucky his cannon cart didn't go that direction. So now he's going to wait for his battle machine to go through the full ability. He's going to take out all the zappies with it. And at this point, this base is absolutely crushed. He still has one P.E.K.K.A. with the ability, one P.E.K.K.A. without it walking across the base. There are the traps I said he was probably worried about. And this is an absolutely crushed base. Another great attack by C6 Shrimp, showing his versatility with strategies. I want to thank C6 Shrimp yet again for letting me show him off. It was absolutely crazy to see his attack, seeing him attack live, and just watching this level 17 battle copter absolutely demolish bases, which shows you that even if you're low leveled, as long as you're good enough, you can push all the way to the top. So thank you C6 Shrimp for showing us that. Now, guys, we're going to be doing some events very, very soon, and in order to be notified about those, you should really join my Discord. In my Discord, we're posting base links, attacking advice, talking with some of the top players in the world, so be sure to check that out. It'll be in the description, and thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.